This is the story of a 70-year-old successful poet Lee, who never married because his private part is one inch long. But when a 17-year-old girl comes into his life, he starts getting attracted towards her and falls in love with her. At the beginning of the story we see Lee, who is sitting in his room full of books. There was no one in his life except these books. Lee also has an assistant named Jiwoo. Recently, one of his books has been published. His book named The Hurt is also a bestseller book. One day Lee finds a girl in the veranda of his house. He keeps staring at her beauty for a long time. Then Jiwoo picks up that girl. The girl tells her name is Yungyo, And then that girl goes away. In the evening, Jiwoo tells Lee that he will be busy for a few days because he has received an offer to write a book. So he asks Lee to hire Yungyo. Lee also immediately agrees to hire Yungyo upon hearing his name. Then from the very next day, Yungyo started coming to Lee's house to work. Lee keeps admiring the beauty of young Yungyo all day. He wants to sleep hugging her body. Then slowly they start talking. One day, Yungyo arrives at Lee's house drenched in heavy rain. Because she had a fight with her mom today, she will stay at Lee's house tonight. Then in the morning, when Lee wakes up, he finds Yungyo sleeping in her own bed. Lee looks at her and starts dreaming of hugging her. Then, hearing the sound of Jiwoo's car, Lee quickly reached his study room, so that Jiwoo felt that Lee had been here all night. But he is surprised to see Yungyo leaving Lee's bedroom. After this, Yungyo makes bread for Lee for breakfast. On this, Jiwoo says that Sir does not like bread. In such a situation, both of them start fighting. But when Lee comes, he eats the bread quietly. Jiwoo finds this very strange. Once Jiwoo even tries to explain to Lee that it is not good to be so close to a high school student. But Lee does not listen to him. He ignores his words. After this, all three of them go out for hiking. Here Jiwoo tells Yungyo not to come to work. But Yungyo ignores his words. In such a situation, there was a fight between these two. In this fight, Yungyo's mirror, which was the first gift given by his mother, fell. This gift means a lot to him. In such a situation, Yungyo starts crying. Jiwoo says, don't create drama. I will get you another mirror. Yungyo says, I don't want any other mirror. I want the same one. In such a situation, Lee brought the same mirror after risking his life. Seeing this, Yungyo hugs Lee. When Yungyo hugs Lee, her body starts to feel on fire. She starts to hate sleeping with Yungyo. The next day, Yungyo makes a tattoo on Lee's chest exactly like the one on her chest. While getting a tattoo done, Lee's body catches fire because he was sleeping in the lap of the most beautiful girl in the world. Ever since Yungyo came into Lee's life, his whole life has changed. Lee has now started feeling young. His body has also started moving like a young boy. In such a situation, Lee starts writing this strange love story happening to him. This story of his has also been named Yungyo. At the same time, Jiwoo is very worried about his work because his stories are continuously getting rejected. In such a situation, Jiwoo, irritated, starts fighting with Yungyo. He tells you to stay away from Lee. Actually, seeing Lee's inclination towards Yungyo, Jiwoo has become jealous of him. The two then start fighting, causing Yungyo's school bat to stab him in the chest. On this, Yungyo says that an engineer can never understand anyone's emotions. Jiwoo was also surprised to hear this. Here Jiwoo also sees the tattoo on his chest. Jiwoo asks him who told him about the engineer thing. Yungyo said that Lee tells her everything. Then when Yungyo was shifting a box near the table, then Jiwoo said that he should not tamper with things here because Lee does not like tampering in the study room at all. Then the box opens. Then Jiwoo sees that Lee has written a book on Yungyo. We then see Jiwoo tell Lee about tomorrow's meeting. Yungyo also starts insisting on going to the meeting. Then Jiwoo angrily says that this is a high-level meeting, and you should stay within your limits. You are the maid of this house, not a queen. But Lee interrupted her and said that when your school is over, I will take you out. We will have a lot of fun there. Then we see that Lee doesn't show the slightest interest in the meeting, because today he is excited to go out with Yungyo. Here Lee's mood is also like that of a young boy. He also shows off his tattoo jokingly. Seeing that tattoo, Jiwoo becomes even more jealous of Yungyo, because now both of them have the same tattoo on their chests. After this we see that Lee waits for Yungyo for about two hours. When Yungyo has free time, he takes her for a walk. 
Ji Wu, on the other hand, had a deadline and had not yet completed his novel. In such a situation, he steals Li's novel, which he has written about Yun Yeo and himself. Then after a few days, Li came to know that his novel had become very popular, even though he had not published it. Then Li learns that Ji Wu had stolen his novel, the words were his but the name was Ji Wu's instead of the writer's. When Li starts arguing with Ji Wu about this matter, then he says that you were not going to publish such a beautiful love story, so I did it. Li says who gave you the right to steal my things, you never had the talent to become a writer. Friends, actually Li used to write novels for Ji Wu, due to which Ji Wu has become famous today. Ji Wu says I am tired of being your shadow. How can a 70-year-old man fall in love with a 17-year-old girl? Even a blind person can see and tell that this is not love, this is lust. On hearing this, Li loses his temper and starts fighting with Ji Wu. Then Yung Yeo comes there. She runs away after seeing Li so angry. Then in the evening, when Yung Yeo comes to meet Li, Li closes all the doors because he knows that some things cannot be achieved. Then seeing the book printed with her name on the table, Yung Yeo started reading it. Then Yung Yeo keeps wondering the whole day that how does Ji Wu know so many things about her? After school, she went straight to Ji Wu and asked him if he had written this book. Ji Wu says, yes, I have written this book. Yung Yeo asks him, how did he know about Tetu? Then Ji Wu understood that Yung Yeo didn't know anything. On this, he says that Li had told him all this. Yung Yeo thanks him as she leaves home, and Ji Wu also kisses her. After this, we see that Yung Yeo's novel is about to receive an award. Li is invited as the chief guest. No one expected Li to attend the award ceremony because he never goes to any function. But today he came not for Ji Wu, but for the novel he had written so that he could explain its real meaning to the people. Li says that Yung Yeo is like a shower of sweet rain on parched land. Hardly anyone can write so beautifully. Hearing this, Ji Wu's neck bows down. Next we see that Yung Yeo comes to Li's house on his birthday. Then Ji Wu also comes. After dinner, Li hugs Yung Yeo and she kisses his forehead. Then at midnight, Li hears some voices from the study room. When he goes to see, the ground slips from under his feet because both of them were getting intimate. Actually, Yung Yeo feels that Ji Wu has written that novel, which means that Ji Wu feels for her. Under this seduction, Yung Yeo gives her heart and her soft body to Ji Wu. Seeing this, Li breaks the steering of Ji Wu's car in anger. Then the next day, when he woke up to the sound of the car starting, he realized that he had made a big mistake, but it was too late because Ji Wu had already left with the car. Within a short time, Ji Wu lost control of the car, but was saved from a major accident. The mechanic says that someone had deliberately loosened the steering of the car. Hearing this, he understands who might have done this. Then he immediately gets the car repaired and angrily goes towards Li's house. But this time, due to being very angry, he meets with a big accident and dies. Here Yung Yeo gets a voice message from Li that he killed Ji Wu. Yung Yeo cries a lot after hearing this. Then she never went to meet Li. Time passes slowly and now Yung Yeo has moved from school to college. One day, Yung Yeo starts reading the same novel. Now she has grown up and also matured. So today she has understood many things after reading the novel. After this she comes to Li's house. Li's entire house is full of liquor bottles. She went to Li who was sleeping in his study. Yung Yeo said, Forgive me, my lover Li. I was very stupid. I could not understand those untold moments together, which we had not even said, but had only felt. All these things cannot be told to anyone no matter how hard one tries. You wrote to Yung Yeo. Thank you for giving me so much importance. Li was listening to everything, but he did not look back at her. Then Yung Yeo said her last goodbye to him and left. Li also says goodbye to Yung Yeo with moist eyes, because even if Yung Yeo finds out everything, nothing can be the same as before. And with this, this story ends.